You must not fight too often with one enemy, or you will teach him all your art of war. Napoleon Bonaparte. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Hello, everybody. Всем привет, дорогие друзья. I'm Secret, and thank you for joining me in my let's play of House of Iron 4 at the Napoleonic Empire. We are currently in the year 1807, 23rd of February 1807, and we did, uh, well, capture a tiny bit of English territory there. Well, we should capture Dover and therefore enabling our, for our troops to flood into English territory with the help of God the Almighty. No, this one. Alright then, time to get, I guess, well, industry wise. Let's get concentrated industry 5. And then infantry wise, let's get the better uh, equipment for infantry. Alright, we did manage to capture the way. Now our army will have the absolute goal of capture Liverpool. Then the British should surrender already. Oh, there we have three Prussian troops. Three Prussian troops. Who would have thought that? Hmm. Okay, then Napoleonic. Uh, we need to. Yeah, they're still advancing. Although, why is that army not advancing? Grande Armee. Grande Armee isn't so Grande Armee anymore. What's the order? So, why do I have 10 different troops here? Let's see, we have 46 in total, 46. Go ahead, flood into Palermo. Palermo, you will get a normal Fried Marshal. Fried Marshal is Julien Wallon. Julien Wallon. Wallon. Whatever. We'll have to ship all of these troops into the way. And you will get Napoleon Bonaparte. So Napoleon Bonaparte will be fighting in England. Let's change the army to Armée, Armée de la de la de de Angleterre. Army of England. Oh yeah, it's quite funny. Osmani. Troops going to Doha and then join the. Turn our arm here. Now, yeah, we did capture a good chunk already. The Sussex is under our control. Now the British have to do the absolute war. <coughs> it's lower down speed to make it more authentic. We need, well, infantry equipment, I guess. Yeah, I mean, after the fall of Great Britain, I don't see anywhere we have to uh, use our units, actually. That's, but that's a different question. No focus here. Let's claim Texas. Lie in Texas and begin to Texas. And then we are gonna do the French, the Spanish ultimatum. Oh, we need 413 horses. Look to that. Time to change our policy from expert focus. Let's actually go ahead and close our industry. Yeah, we now we have a closed industry instead. Now we shouldn't need anything. Yeah. Cancel our imports. That's great. We have a total of 4,400 oil and 1,600 steel. I mean, horses, whatever. So. Nepal has been captured, the next will be the Mughal Empire. They have no military factories, but beef units. That's a thing which is rather hard to understand, but we are gonna nevertheless capture them and teach them from what we the French troops are made of. Heil France. Alright, we did capture here, we are now in its entirety. Time to capture Cambodia. They have nothing, they have no factories, not a single one. Siam. Yeah, no, anyway, let's capture the Republic of Cambodia. They are well, they have their max election in 129 years, so that's too long for us to wait. Therefore, they will be captured at an instance. Capture the Republic of Cambodia. There we go. Although, I wouldn't only need one unit, I'm just gonna yeah, send a whole army, because why not after all? Do I have any idle troops here which I don't need? Uh, Equity. There are some pristine Dutch units, but uh, the Dutch East Indies doesn't want to join the war of the Batavian Republic. That's rather interesting. Okay, what's the over here? We have to invade Australia. Don't forget that our Marines are well, they are already being trained. It's time to strategic redeployment. Let's invade them from Saigon. From Saigon, we'll invade Australia. It's a long way, so we need some of our ships there. How did they possibly get encircled? That's hard to believe. Oh, they didn't get encircled. Let's see, the fall of London. The fall of London is within, within our grasp. We have 11 ships. 11, 11. This should be enough, I think. Let's send these 11 destroyer 3s to Saigon. 
into Saigon. So the first French Empire rules the world. Rule France, France rule the world. Frenchmen never, never, never shall be slaves. I don't know why, but these troops all should be fighting really aggressively. Why can't I assign them to that order? I, I cannot really. No, all of them. Plus, these divisions should meet up with these. So I have 110 non French divisions fighting in the Spanish region. That's rather nice. Spanish power getting bigger and bigger. That's great. So, of course, victory. Yeah, we didn't capture London yet, it seems like. But, so let's use one unit to capture Plymouth. Plymouth. Let's use five cavalry units. Alt. Right, and capture Plymouth. Also, go and capture Cardiff. Yeah, one, we go and capture Cardiff. What? How did the British recapture Dover, please? How did they recapture Dover? I have no bloody idea how they managed to do that. Although Great Britain is, well, only 35% towards capitulation. They have a national unity of uh, 90%. Wow, so we have to capture the majority of their uh, victory points. That's rather sad. They have a way to high national unity. Making things rather hard for us. So, yeah. Battle of London, it's under regular. Yeah, what about unpausing the game? Perhaps would be a great idea, wouldn't it? We need to crush the straits. Capture Palermo. Parti. Yes, troops. Do I have any idle troops? Mm. Not really any idle ones. All uh, units are being used somewhere. Look, that's less of China. So the Qing Dynasty actually uh, retreated to Taiwan. So Taiwan, they did retreat. Now, well, they have uh, 12 or 18 divisions. Oh wow, they have one military factory. Look at that. One military factory. The first French Empire has a non coagulation of. I don't want to show off, but of 1.41 billion men and women. That's superb. Justification. I thought we justified against Saudi Arabia, didn't we? Apparently not. Against Punjab? Or we are justifying against the Punjabis. Punjabis. And it will be ready after just one day. Attention. Attention. Oh, we did. We didn't capture London, but one more point: then London will be captured, and we should be one step closer. Okay, there we go to complete the victory. I guess I'll have to uh, redirect to the order to capture also Scotland because they have victory points. Oh, Punjab joined the British Empire. Well, they have to get certainly punished for that. That's rather unacceptable that the Punjabis joined the British Empire. It's just a question of time until they join the war as well of the Britannia. So if we check, I mean Britannia, British Empire faction has these following provinces. Not that much. Oh, and they call them Punjab. That's a mistake because Punjab Attention. will fall immediately. Aggressive execution. I don't need to use even a general for that. They should fall at once. And the fall of London. The fall of London. There we go. Now. They are 62% towards capitulation. Do we have to capture Ireland as well? Dublin and Belfast, I don't think so. But maybe Liverpool as well. We have to capture this fine and attack aggressively. Aggressively. In all the provinces. I'm training my division de cavalerie. They need, uh, well, horses. Oh, of course, they will be horses for 10 minutes. I'm gonna, well, fine. Let's just tell them. Okay, fine. Deploy all of them in Pas de Calais. I'll need to speed up the conquest of Great Britain. These divisions should just do fine. Oh, a cover doesn't have a port. A port. It's really interesting. Look, the the sun set above the British Empire, or as soon it was set above the British Empire. A lot of troops, but I wanna yeah train them somewhat. But it's just a matter of principle. It's not real that I need. Place troops, it's just good to have them, but nowhere close being really necessary. Well, we have 14.8% uh, of our population available. Well, I mean, we have 0.3% of our <laughs> non core population, which is, believe it or not, 1.43 billion people. We did capture Birmingham. I don't know, the, the, Brit the British only has, they only built building factories. 
It's rather weird. Well, there are 5 military and 52 to 64 civilian ones. Nobody can withstand the French Empire. The rule of Napoleon. So the Grande Armée has reached again 80 divisions. But now with the direct order of capturing even these Scapa flows of capturing Scapa flow of Scotland. There we go. Executed aggressively into the Scottish mountainous terrain. Which were fighting will uh, take longer, I guess. So the battle against the Punjabis is going great. After that, we're gonna take care of the Mughal Empire and then Maratha and then Nagpur. Every cavalry is gonna follow onto our rule one by one. They are being read by Sweden. They are being read by Sweden. Look to that. Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Would have thought that, that they would guarantee a nation there. That's rather interesting, isn't it? The problem is I have no troops ready, but I'm training actually some troops. So let's deploy them close to Sweden, shall we? Yeah, let's do that, yeah. On the Finnish sector, let's see, yeah, let the wait them. First their training, if that's the case, boom. Well, I even don't really have to maximize, I can just deploy them all. 257 troops, boom! Okay, I'll deploy 156. That's quite nice. So, Theater de Amérique, Theater de Europe, for sure, Theater de Europe. European Theater. You will get Field Marshal Hubert du Petit Toureux. Toureux. Across the Finnish frontier. With the absolute goal of capturing every single province in Sweden. Like, just touching through the country. There we go, that's rather great. Our units moving out. Yeah, this sector isn't even that overcrowded, so it sure will stand our whole army, I think, somewhat well. And then, boom, they are gonna straight attack Sweden. We have unread naval battle results. Look to that. Of course, we won. For the Americans, we lost convoys, but that's rather temporary since we got. Yeah, when can we kill these troops? I mean, they shouldn't have any uh, weapons left. They still have a strength of 20. Continue the I mean, look, they don't have any military factories, so how can they get positive troops? Bad pitié. That's rather well. Well, the Punjab, Punjab is gonna fall soon. They should uh, fall today even. Fall of Punjab, then we're gonna use our combined force against the Latvian Mughali Empire. Uh, oh, we have to justify against them. I thought I did already. Justify against the, Mug the Mughali Empire. The Mughal, Mughal Empire has actually 13 to 24 divisions. Well, they have zero military factories. Congratulations, Mughal Empire. So, since we have two armies ready for that, I'm gonna assign the one half to this front line and the other half to the other. Just push into the Mughal Empire and then I, I don't know how Punjab can still Continue fight, attack. although they have nothing left. That's rather interesting to say, but whatever. So we did capture nearly all of England. Our units did encircle 10 English divisions there. Massively, massive. So we're gonna capture Liverpool. And by the fall of Scotland, the British should capture lights. We still have to care of, uh, take care of other countries, of the natives, the Cape Colony, Australia, Portuguese, Brazil, etc, etc, etc. How can I take them out? How can I take them possibly out? Problem is, I cannot use even Gardez one division. Like, let's use the 13th and division de Antoine We can't simply go into the sector because we have no infrastructure. Maybe I'm not gonna tell him to deploy strategically. Maybe then it will work. Yeah. Although, I have infrastructure here, how you can clearly see. I simply uh, can't... I have zero out of zero, zero out of zero. They perhaps didn't add that to the game, I guess. I have no more clue. Okay, our units are just moving into Glasgow, into the British capital of Glasgow. There we go. With the fall of Britain, we might get the peace treaty, but we just may. Our troops are ready to strike against the Swedes. Let's go ahead and declare war to the Republic of Cambodia. De Let's go ahead and declare war. And, yeah, there we go, oh, the French Empire has won Cambodia, that's so far and so good, but the Swedes, the Swedes joined the British Empire, perhaps. Uh, they did uh, call their, uh, they did call their answer to war, so we're gonna salvage through Sweden aggressively, attacking every single province there. 
so let's abort the Swedes. Sorry, Sweden, but things aren't that easy. Or is, or is it? So, so. And Sweden joined the British Empire. After Sweden, the Danes will fall. <coughs> we have to yeah, cross the strait. We, we get a minus 57 percent nail penalty. And finally, the Punjabi have capitulated. We can use our army now against the Mughal Empire. Against the Mughal Empire. There we go. It's the 10th army here. He'll get Louis near the Aichingen. What I'm too lazy. I'm gonna combine them, give them the field marshal, Matuk, Swan, the whatever. Cross the whole front to strike to Delhi and to other provinces of the Mughal Empire. But they will fall quick, quick and swift. So Great Britain, they still resist. Okay, they are 100. So hereby I will announce the capitulation of the British forces in the 1807. Herefore, I will announce the, cap the capitulation, the surrender of Great Britain, and Great Britain has capitulated! Napoleon Bonaparte has announced that the cowardly British nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the alarming presence of French forces throughout the country. The British government chooses to flee the country and is gone into exile. Their main forces have capitulated and the First French Empire now is now in control of the home area. Though the war against what remains of the British Empire continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the French Empire. Gloria Victoire! Gloria Victoire! Glorious victory! Glorious victory! I'm gonna garrison off the provinces. I don't need that many troops, I guess. Just 11. Like 20 should be fine already. There we go. Fine. Also now in England. 19. Here. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, defend. Lots and Napoleon can do something else. A 40 perhaps. Be fine. Oh, so the Arabia joined the British Empire. I mean, the British Empire just consists of Portuguese Brazil and its colonies. Portuguese Brazil, uh, what else? Let's speed up the game. Saudi Arabia. I'll go ahead. I can't wait. Declare war against the Saudis. And yep, we did declare war. And go ahead, crush the country. Uh, Cambodia should fall soon. We have to take care of Australia. Where are our Marines at this point? Our Marines have moved to this sector. They will invade from Saigon. From Saigon, the uh, capital Canberra. Let's start invade Sydney and the surrounding provinces. Plus, I'll need a good uh, force. Yeah, this, these troops under the capital Cambodia will uh, go into. In Australia and fight there for Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor Francis. Our units are moving rapidly into Sweden, their surrender should come soon. I don't want them to get encircled, therefore, I will just tell them to execute in a balanced manner. Not too aggressive, but not too weak as well. Okay, Cambodia should capitulate by nightfall. I think that they will capitulate by nightfall. Let's see. I didn't. I mean, what do I... Oh, they have... It's not like they have bronze left. They have nothing left. They are still keeping the battle up. Oh my god. Go ahead. Just capture all the bronze, I guess. I mean, I can't... There we go. Finally, they did capture lights after a delay. These troops go into Saigon. And our fleets... Okay, we need to delete these fleets because it will bug the game up. So, first French Empire fleet. Uh, Salab C, Java C, I need um, even. I need to divide this fleet up. I will. Fine. I guess yeah, these ships wouldn't be enough. Same problem here. Yeah, I'll have to send them into. Yeah, I mean, we control all of England, therefore, we don't need that many ships anymore. We have 222 there. I'm gonna. Okay, just forgetting that Dahi is done. Just please possibly move into the English channel. I have 23 destroyers here, let's move them into Saigon. And Saudi Arabia also capitulated. Who would have expected that? Would it? Saudi Arabia is ours as well. We still didn't manage to push into uh, Naples, that's such a shame. Such a shame. Well, get more, I guess what? More infantry equipment. There we go. Well. It's too sad that they didn't uh, surrender yet. They didn't surrender yet. That's quite a s 
I've got to shame to be honest. Marie. These 40 will be sent. Why from Dawa? What we are to, we are to. He's a Danes, yeah, that's really our troops against the Danish. Oh, what's that? Communist uh, Spain? Communist Spain? Leader is Calixto Acuna, but it's Communist Spain. I think communism wasn't even a thing in the year 1807, but Spain still did get communist. Alright, game, alright. There, there you see, there you just see Communist Spain. That's rather, well, more than interesting to see. <coughs> communist Spain. I'll just keep it, but it's alright, alright. Well, I never thought I would see that. Alright, let's try to capture these natives here, Tilaberry. We're gonna claim Texas, can we declare war? Uh, no, we can't. We have a claim on Texas. Now, let's do what we can't do the Spanish ultimatum yet. So, what we can do, let's continue our arms expansion. It's surely a thing we'll need. We'll need or die. <laughs> All right, military factories. We have well, 521. Our navy is 8,000 strong. I guess let's get more naval dockyards, surely, because I I have well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just want to switch naval dockyards for now. Fine, let's maximize out the naval dockyards in the French region. There we go. As well as in Great Britain. In Great Britain will be our naval dockyards uh, producing country, I'd say. Although, no, better not. Better not. Let's see here. Let's get rid of them. Germany. Germany. That's there. Fine, and after that, I'm gonna just build more military factories. I don't really mind, to be honest. Military factories throughout all of Europe, throughout all of Russia as well, especially Moscow and its surroundings. So, if we check the infrastructure of Moscow now, you will see that Moscow has really quite a bit of factories, so they should really thank the French that they invaded them. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able uh, to. Okay, oh, we are at peace with. Oh, wait. We have a war goal against the Mughal Empire. Declare war. The first French Empire declared war on the Mughal Empire. And it will be soon. Écoutez. Goodbye, Mughals. Let's join Britannia. Such a surprise. Such a surprise. Let's just join the British Empire, defeat, well, the British have, they have lots of, uh, what just happened? Oh, my game crashed, look to that. Well, I just want to finish the mod, then we can play something else, just finish our current war, but, well, the game crashing, well, is nothing we can really influence. It's only the game, just, well, crashing, the mod being not really that compatible, not being that compatible with the rest of the game. So you must not fight here, we uh, read the same quote, I think they may also need to add uh, more quotes into this mod, but I really love it, this mod, it's fun to play once, but I wouldn't play it again. Like Black Eyes or Millennium Dawn are mods which I would play again, but this mod not for certain, no. And it has lots of work to do, I would say this mod is maybe like 5% done. Playable, it's really not playable, the mods. It's, well, crushing too often, it's fun, but nothing compared to a other quality mods, to be honest. Uh, Alright, so we... Um, what happened here? I thought, I thought I detached one unit. Oh, didn't I? Oh, wait, we lost... Okay, we have to load the autosave, that's why. I didn't load the autosave. Let's load the autosave. Fine, we load it. Écoutez. Écoutez. Vision de cavalerie. You'll go ahead, capture Tilaberry, and I'll tell my navy, my entirety of my navy, to go into Flatly de France, into Saigon, because we can't get naval supremacy there. Because the Brits have a too strong fleet in the sector, that's, uh, which is causing some problems. And how. I mean, it's such a big industry in our saw. We have 1,251. Yeah, our Soviet Union gameplay was certainly stronger. But that's also quite strong, I have to admit. But the Republic, yeah, we can't really cross into uh, Air Force. I'll give up. I'll, I'll give up. I'll give up. Fine. I'll give up. Okay, I'll give up because we can't get into Palermo. We have to get more marines. I'm gonna get a lot more marines. Let's train more marines. Train them. Train them in PM1. 
Marines with a high priority. So they can get the equipment and okay, just yeah, I'm ju just gonna get fine. Military factories, I guess. Military factories are not civilian ones. I don't wanna build civilian ones, goddammit. Get rid no more civilians, we have enough civilians. Build military factories. Military factories, so there we go. Superb, superb, superb. Build them in the Russian area and I'm also gonna build lots of naval dockyards, especially in these regions. Alright, this will be just fine. No, I hope they don't need a task. Defeats. No, defeats. Oh, they have battleships there, that's probably why the game crashed as well, I have no idea. We can do the Spanish Ultimatum after 1808. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna continue my arms expansion, but it's where I'm rather questioning myself how Spain got communist. The first French Empire declared war on the Mughal Empire. Our Grande Armée will move into the Mughal Empire, crushing them. And the game crashed again. Alright, never mind, I am sick of that. I am gonna finish the let's play here. I can't just play a game which keeps crashing, I'm gonna finish it here. Thank you all for watching me, don't forget to like. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, thank you all for watching me, don't forget to like and subscribe, but this let's play here is done. I can't play a mod to which crashes 24-7. So thank you all and see you next time, goodbye.